Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play. This time it's going to be an indie game called Papers, Please. Uh, it's a dystopian set game, and I'm not going to spoil what it's about completely, uh, because this is a game that you should experience yourself. And you might be wondering how I can do a Let's Play on it if, I'm, if it's full of spoilers. And I decided I'm going to do Endless Mode which has no story in it. It's just endlessly playing this game. So let's get to doing that. Every day you start off with this little sheet from your boss. Process travelers until the balance drops to zero. Citations will penalize a number of points and I get one I get a number of points up here this plus one up here every time I'm correct and I need to check the rule books to make sure I'm doing it right and these are th the three wanted criminals today so what happened I'm going to spoil the intro because you're just gonna see it right at the very beginning anyways um, I won a lottery which got me this horrible job so you can imagine what this country is like um, I'm working at a checkpoint and I'm checking people's paperwork before they go through this checkpoint and I need to check this rule book here and I need to check the rules and regulations for anything that they could be breaking and then I can pull up this little menu to highlight any discrepancies I find which you'll see and then I just stamp it approved or denied their passport so here's the basic rules that I currently have this is basically um, early game rules the the rules just stack up as you go everyone must have a passport all the documents must be current I have the current date down here in the bottom left um, no weapons or contraband citizens have to have an ID card Foreigners have to have an entry permit, and workers have to have a work pass. So those are all the basic rules. Let's get the shutter up and get people coming in. The reason I picked this endless mode is because it's not timed. This little thing on the bottom left corner is supposed to be my clock for the day. Um, but, and normally when you play the game, the full game, it's just fast-paced and extremely tense and you're just grabbing these papers and flinging them all over the place trying to check the documents and then you're sure to miss something it takes a lot of practice to get good at doing it fast so I'm gonna check this over here this paper that goes down here is the dialogue that we've had so she said the purpose of her visit is a job and she'll be a few weeks so we need to check this entry permit and it should say work and a few weeks a month is fine a month is a few weeks technically I think three when someone says a few but I guess that's me so you have to check the name Stephanie Darstolfska I can't pronounce any of these names um, spellings the same check the gender I guess you could check the date of birth. Um, issuing city, the ISS, that's issued city, West Greston. So if you're not used to this game like I am, then you have to go in here and go, okay, she's from Kolechia. Let's look at the map, Kolechia. The issuing cities for Kolechia are Yurko City, Vidor, and West Greston. And she has West Greston. So that's fine. She has a valid issuing city. Expires 1984, March 23rd. We're in January 1st, 83, so she's fine on that. And then you also should check the profile picture. Make sure that her profile is the same. And, of course, when you're checking their profile, you should check the criminals over here and make sure that the profile doesn't match a criminal. Okay, so that's the visa that I'll be stamping eventually. Name matches job type doesn't really matter all that much 
And another thing you need to check are seals. Document seals. So I'll go in here. Entry permit should have one of these two seals. Her entry permit currently doesn't have a seal at all. So what I'll do is I'll pull up the discrepancies, click the seals, and then click her permit. Discrepancy. Your document's forged. I don't know what you're talking about, detainer. And then I get two points up here. You get a bonus point for detaining, I believe. And we're on to the next person. Transit for 14 days, that matches. Now here's another thing you need to check. This ID code on the passport needs to match the ID code on any document. So those match, that's fine. He's not a criminal. Male. Gloria and Antonegra, let's see. Yep. Not expired. But this is expired. 1982, December 8th. Sorry, dude. It's not my fault you couldn't come until now. Let's see, are there any other things I might be skipping over? He's immigrating here forever. Yurko City's good. Now one thing that they will do to trick you sometimes is the issuing city will be correct, but it's not the correct nation. So it might put Yurko City for Arstotska or something. And then you just get thrown off because you know Yurko City is a valid city, but you forgot to associate it with the correct country. They like to do that sometimes. Sorry sir, your numbers don't match. Documents valid, huh? I don't think so. So you might be thinking that this looks extremely mundane and not all that interesting to do. But the reality of it is, if you actually play the game, the, that's the whole point of it. It's supposed to be mind-numbingly mundane, but at the same time, when you're playing the full game, and you're not playing it like I am right now, then you're going to be so wrapped up in the stress and in how the game actually is and in the story behind it that you're not going to care that the work is mundane because it's really not going to be mundane. You're going to be working your butt off to try and survive in the dystopian world because you need to pay your bills and do this job and that means you need to do it well and you need to do it fast. Right now I don't have a time at all but in the full game it's very short and it feels ridiculously short. Okay so what I did is I checked your fingerprints and they match but what I care about is that her passport says Oleks Karnov and the entry passport says oh he huh <laughs> right um that makes more sense or <laughs> Oleks Karnov is on his passport but Dmitri Herbolt is on his entry permit but if I look here Oleks Karnov is there as his name and then Dmitri is as his um, alias. So it's perfectly fine. The fingerprints match, the alias is there, there's no problem with this documentation. Sometimes it'll say no alias and then you'll have to highlight no alias and then highlight the name to point out that they don't have a known alias and they're currently committing a crime. So the entry permit seal's good. 
I don't remember if I checked his reasoning. Yep, transit two days, that's fine. Now, I'm kind of cheating because I unlocked shortcuts. Currently, I'm hitting spacebar to bring up discrepancies and tab for the stamp. Normally, when you start off, you have to click down here and you have to click over here. Doesn't matter that much when I have no time limit. And there's an example of how fast you should be going. So the game itself, without spoiling it, um, is very engaging. This you get it, this is a game that does the theme well, and you get really wrapped up in the story of it all. And uh, another thing that the game does is it will throw you into a position where you're not going to feel comfortable. You're going to th you're going to have to do things that you really don't want to do, or you're going to have to try and justify what you do as a, a reasonable moral choice to have made. So there are a lot of moral choices that come up, and there's a lot of uh, things that come in to try and tempt you to to question your own morality and that's part of what makes this game so great really this is this is one of my favorite games of all time it's just utterly brilliant um, and if that hasn't sold you on it I should also point out that the game has 20 different endings based on how you act in the game she I don't think she looks like that person, but I might as well double check. Wait a second. Vidor Antonegra? I don't think so. Yeah. Vidor's a valid issuing city in Arstotska. Not Antonegra. You might think that having unlimited time to do this makes it extremely easy to win, and yeah, this is probably the easiest of the um, the three different unlimited modes, but as you go on, as time passes, the penalties get harsher. So right now the penalty b might be minus 2 or minus 1, but soon it'll be minus 5, and then minus 10, and then minus 15, and minus 20, and it'll just keep getting more and more ridiculous. And you'll have to get... Full year? <sighs> Sorry, dude, that's not what you said. Yeah, I'm sure you meant a couple of weeks, now that I caught you in your lie. So yeah, the it'll it'll get to the point where you're you have to do three or four good ones at least in order to counteract one bad one is just gonna catch up with you. Whenever I notice that, that someone has lied to me, it makes me want to check their passport even more. It makes me want to make sure that they're not like he said that his visit was gonna be longer than it really was. It makes me wonder if he's forged as document or looks like everything's in order. Haihan Impor is a valid issuing city. I'm gonna let him go. And of course if I was in the game and he lied to me and I sat there trying double checking triple checking his stuff I would be wasting precious time I could be spending on someone else.
I almost want to. Oh, never mind. There we go. There's my first citation. Incorrect purpose response. I wasn't paying enough attention. I thought I read his purpose response properly. Alright, so visiting for 30 days, yeah. Name is correct, seal is correct. She's just visiting, she doesn't need any special permit. Now a nice thing about this game is if you stamp approve, and then you just go here and you go, oh wait a second, that says male instead of female, and you go, wait a second, you are obviously female, and you do a discrepancy thing, and and you um, scan to make sure, then if they actually aren't having the correct paperwork, you can still deny them. You can still put a denied stamp over and approved. You cannot do the inverse, though. If you deny something, you've denied it. It doesn't matter if you screwed up and accidentally clicked deny when you didn't want to. Gotta be careful of that. Passing through for a couple weeks. Not a, one of the known criminals. And the f yeah, the full game has. Uh oh. What did I miss that time? He forged his entry permit. So yeah, that was pretty sad, but I wanted it to be a short video anyways. That's an idea of the gameplay of Papers, Please. But if you want to play the full game and actually experience the story, there's they have a free alpha, I believe. I'll link it if I find it. I'll, I should be able to find it. Um, it's like the first eight days, I think, of the 30. So you can get an experience of what the beginning of the game is like and you'll see why I like it so much. But that is Papers, Please, and I think I covered everything that I needed to. Um, it's just an engaging story, a really, really well done theme that really immerses you and makes you question yourself a lot. And it's just a lot of fun even though it's kind of weird to say that it's a lot of fun to do a menial job with lots of paperwork checking. It'll make sense when you play it. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time.